You guys have had an up and down G League season so far. You guys both made the decision to go pro. In terms of lessons, what are the biggest ones you guys have both learned? There's so many things that could change in a matter of seconds within the game, on and off the court. It's just like things that you need to learn to become a professional basketball player. It's going to be things that don't go your way in, that goes your way. So you just need to remain at your routine and just stay one level so you can be able to thrive in this. I learned a lot of things, honestly. Uh, the vets have been helping us a lot. You know, John Jenkins, Norris Cole, um, Mika, just like dieting, uh, staying on a routine. But also Coach Hart, um, he's been saying that basketball will humble you, you know, so you can be up here one day and then you can be right down here. So that's what we've been learning. Going into your decision to, to not, you know, go to college, how much for you was the experience of, of you know, you want to play basketball, you want to be professional? Everyone has a purpose in life, and my purpose is to be the best basketball player I can be. You know, someone can, someone else it would be like being a doctor, being a teacher, but for me it's being a basketball player. That's what I love to do. So I picked the pro route because it was like a strategic move for my development and, uh, you know, getting better, being with the best coaches, playing against the best players, playing NBA rules, just like you'd be playing in the NBA. For you, Ron, you decided to go to Texas initially, you signed mm -hmm. a letter of intent, and then you picked the Ignite route. What, what led you to that decision? Once I decommitted from Texas, I had to step away from really just basketball and figure out what really do I want out of this. Um, it took a lot of it took a lot. Um, it was a whole, it was a bunch of conversations going on with everybody in my circle and just to really figure out how important am I looking for certain things in this basketball game and everything in life really. Once I found Ignite and everything that they offered and what they were telling me, it was everything that I was looking for. It was the pros and I look, I was looking for the pros and cons of being, becoming a professional basketball player out of high school and then going straight to, I mean, going to college. Um, and like I said, I, I, I found Ignite and this is something that I really wanted to do. Everything that they just offer and how well they just prepared, they resume from preparing dudes to uh, go succeed in the NBA was just, it was crazy. So it was, that, that decision for me, it was just like a no brainer. So Mavis, I know both of your parents, I believe played basketball. Yeah. Your dad has a special connection to the NBA though. Could you, could you describe it? Yeah, uh, my dad is privately employed with Jonas Valanciunas. He's a physiotherapist for him. It's, it's cool, you know, you can, you can like um, pick his brain when you need to, you know, about the NBA. And he's also like, he's pretty much like my uncle. I see him, you know, all the time. So Ron, on the other side, your dad. <laughs> right here, he's a chef. Sure. Uh, you, have you learned to cook? Yeah, for sure. You got it down? Yeah, not right. like him, but I got it down. How would you describe your relationship with your parents, with your dad? Mm -hmm. How do you balance your, your, your relationships with your, with your family and, and staying focused on basketball? I say I balance it very well, honestly, because just growing up, I was just a happy kid, just playing all types of sports. Um, my dad worked uh, a few jobs, so he wasn't really able, just being able to go into three, like a couple different programs with uh, cooking, he wasn't able to just go to all my games and stuff, but as he was able to, as he was more able to, it just became a more passionate thing for him. Like he was just so excited to see his son balling out and it was just like a, like a, it's no other word than passionate for him. Uh, my mom, same with her, she's really just, been a, been a shoulder to cry on when I needed it, and she's also been my biggest supporter throughout this whole thing. I got an older sister, she's been the same thing as my mom. Um, but just all of them together, it's just, they've just been a huge outlet for me, and they always there when I need some. So, Miles, I believe for you, you swam first. Yeah. That, that, was, that was what you were doing. Yeah. Basketball wasn't your thing? No, it wasn't. <laughs> so, growing up, you were swimming. You were, was basketball even the, on the radar? Or no. for you, was. I was swimming, and I was just good at it. So, I would just do it. I would, I, I would go like not even I wouldn't even go to practice not even try and just cook everybody when I go to a meet <laughs> it would be bad but I it wasn't swimming I didn't like to swim and I didn't like to play basketball I wanted to be a gamer like that's what I wanted to be so when um, I had this like moment of clarity when I was gaming and I was like like what am I gonna be in life you know so I decided to pick basketball this, this was like I want to see it. I want to say seventh grade, seventh grade. So I picked basketball, and I think it turned out well for me. So it was a, it was a crazy, you know, young life for me. For you, Ron, mental health is is important for you. Where did that passion, that understanding, with you for come? Sure. Mental health is so important to me and my family because we've been through some things growing up and we can understand how the way of mental health can really just affect somebody's life. And I feel like we want the world to know that. It's, it's okay, it's all right to have an outlet and be able to just express yourself and you just need to, I feel like everybody needs to have that one special person or it can be multiple people where 
you just be able to talk to them about anything and whatever so you can be able to just release and be free and have a free mind. Who are your role models now in the NBA when you think about whether past players, current players, who do you enjoy watching most right now? Um, I think past players, my biggest mo role models would be Kevin Garnett and Kevin Durant. The way I just, the way Kevin Durant scored the ball to me has always been amazing since I was a kid just growing up. I think a lot of kids have that. Um, Kevin Garnett, his mentality, like his mentality on the court was he don't want to lose and he gonna do whatever it takes. And I feel like I have a lot of qualities when it comes to him. Um, now in the NBA, I've been studying a lot of Drew Holiday and Michael Bridges on both sides of the ball, defensively and offensively, just cause I, I can see myself playing like them in the NBA. And that was when Michael Bridges was a three and D guy to now the all-star that he is. For me, it's like Paul George and Luka. Paul George has no flaws in his game and just Luca's offensive abilities are just insane you know it's like never been seen before what he does so um, you know Paul George's defensive inst instincts are just you know off the charts and also his offensive game so he's like a perfect player to me you know watching him and then Luca you know I just take the moves I see from him you know as you guys go through the ups and downs of the season and you guys lose and you guys deal with critique and all that, like how has that weighed on both of you guys? For sure the losing is tough, but at the end of the day, we committed to this program to trust it and I feel like Coach Hart and everybody has done a great job of just staying with us and not nobody's giving up on anybody. We know what this program is capable of and we know how, how much work we put in every single day on and off the court and it's like we know this thing is going to turn around for us sooner than later. It's just all about staying down and keep working, keep grinding. Like, that's what this thing is. We, like, like I told you earlier, you can't get too high or too low with this. And like I said, it's really tough, but we know what, we know what we're capable of.